Hi guys, Nassar here from Edamites. So today, interview's question is that uh, what exactly is pie carrot? So pie carrot is an automated machine learning library which takes up the data set and uh, it processes that inside of it with some heuristic, with some its own processing skills. And then it applies almost all the machine learning algorithms and it compares each and every machine learning algorithm with different different metrics and let us know that you know which machine learning model is performing good and which one is not performing so let's see how it works so for that if you have uh, not installed yet your pi carrot simply you need to say pip install I get it. I'm not going to run it because it takes a bit amount of time and already I have installed it in my system. So if you are using for the very first time, you are required to install this Pi Carrot. Okay? So I'll just create a new cell. I'll just comment it out. Okay. So for that, uh, we require to have a data set first. So let me just... Uh, Take a dummy data set. Uh, I'll say import Seaborn as SNS. And you know that Seaborn uh, has lots of uh, data sets to choose from. So let me just have a look what exact data set is there. So get data set names. And you could see that there are lots of as such data sets. So I'll choose tips data set so i'll say df equals to sns dot load underscore data set and then i'll say tips and here is my tip data set with total build tip sex smoker day time and size so let's take this data set as this is a small data set and it will give you know, it's, it's, it will not take that much amount of time for processing. And let's put this on top of a PyCarrot and let's see how my PyCarrot gives the result for different different machine learning models. So using PyCarrot is very, very simple. All you require to say from PyCarrot dot classification import start simply means that I'm, I'm importing everything. So whatever is being required, I'll use it directly. And uh, you say, you just take a variable, say S equals to setup. And we are setting up the things for my pie carrot. And we need to put the entire data set that is DF. And all we need to specify what is going to be my target. So we can choose anything. Let's take whether, uh, uh, you know, with all the information, we need to detect that whether a particular person is a smoker or a non-smoker. So I'll say target equals to smoker and uh, simply run it. Now you could see that uh, it will prompt me saying that, that it has detected these columns as such data types. So if I am okay with this, I'll simply say, I'll simply press enter or I can simply say quit and just quit it from here and then we can change it. So over here, total bill is numeric, tip is numeric, you know, sex categorical, date is categorical, time is also categorical. So everything looks fine for me over here. So simply I'll press enter. Now, when I press enter, it just gives a certain descriptions about certain things like, you know, how many IDs, a target, uh, what kind of uh, classification it is. So binary, and all sort of things, whichever it has just done in top of that, and it has detected it to be, it just showed that, you know, the CPU jobs, the, he, it's going to be used all the number of CPUs for that. Now, simply, it has lots of information. Now it's time to build a model on top of this data set. So simply, you just create a variable called as, I can say to be best model and, uh, equals to compare underscore models 
So simply what it's going to do is uh, going to apply all the machine learning model on top of this and it's going to compare it. So it has, uh, by default, it, it takes accuracy. If you want to change the metrics as such, you can change the metrics as well. But anyhow, when you see the comparison, each and every metrics will come out. So if I run it, so it's, it's in processing state and uh, it will take some amount of time. Not in that much amount of time because the data set is not that much large, but yeah, it will take a bit of time because it's supplying all the machine learning models on top of this data set. You see, things started to come out. So by default, it's working over the accuracy. If you want, you can change your metrics inside. There is a parameter, you can change it. So we could see that it's still in running process, but it has uh, included lots of machine learning model like ridge regression, LDA, linear regression, CAT boost, light GBM, and many more. SVM support vector machine, k nearest neighbor, decision tree. And uh, finally, it gave me a score with the, you know, the value in the descending order with respect to accuracy that which is giving you the best accuracy. So over here, the rich regressor is giving us the most best accuracy as compared to any other machine learning model. So this is how we, you know, use pi caret for, uh, you know, creating multiple models and comparing them. Okay, thank you.